Tonight, our I-team is examining the future of Florida's Stand Your Ground law. This after Curtis Reeves, a former T Tampa police officer who shot and killed a man inside a movie theater, was acquitted last Friday. I-team investigator Katie Legrone explains why some are now calling this Florida case historic. Eight years after the shooting, nine days after the trial. Count one, murder in the second degree. Jurors took a little over three hours to reach a verdict. Defendant is not guilty. But to legal experts and stand your ground scholars, the acquittal of Curtis Reeves, a retired Florida police captain who shot and killed a man during a matinee movie over an argument about texting. Count two, aggravated battery. The defendant is not guilty will go down in history. If you're going to talk about the evolution of staying your ground laws, this is definitely going to be one of those cases you have to mention. Janae Thomas is an attorney and former Florida state prosecutor. That's where our society has been headed, so we aren't very surprised by the verdict. She believes the acquittal of 79-year-old Reeves, who claimed he was acting in self-defense when he shot 43-year-old Chad Olson after a cell phone argument escalated to Olson standing up and eventually throwing popcorn at Reeves, will set a new precedence for future stand your ground cases and gun violence. I think there's going to be more gun violence because people are thinking that they are justified when they are doing the actions and stand your ground says you don't have to think twice about it. First adopted in Florida back in 2005, stand your ground remains controversial. Opponents say it encourages violence. Supporters maintain it makes the public safer by deterring attackers. In Florida, the law has expanded to a point where it's now among the strongest nationwide. Do I think that this is the case that's gonna go down in history? No, but I, I think that it's going to open some people's eyes and they're going to realize that there's a lot of good in this law. Reeves' attorneys believe their client's case reflects more in a law that did just what it was intended to do. Those that attack other individuals, they need to be understanding that that person that they're attacking may have vulnerabilities that they need to protect. And it may result in someone defending themselves and the taking of life. How does this case uh, script human behavior? I think we're seeing people move more from the flight and avoiding danger to the fight aspect of it. I think people are feeling emboldened to use that fight instead of flight. We certainly don't want individuals out there to just be shooting other individuals just because they can. We want individuals to obviously be responsible with firearms and we want them to uh, shoot someone if they need to at last resort because they're truly defending themselves. A recent study found in states with stand your ground laws, monthly incidents of gun violence increased up to 11% higher in southern states, including Florida. Reeves' attorneys do not believe there's a correlation. In Tampa, Katie Legrone, back to you.